So that's what this falls under. This is a prior planning thing. Because we are already planning on getting the stone out of here. And now, that mold's set. That's it. All we gotta do now, mix the concrete. Which we have, ladies and gentlemen. Four bags of 80 pound Quickrete 5000, which is the name brand of it, but it's just 5000 PSI cement or concrete. <laughs> and I've spent a lot of money and time trying to figure out a good formula for this. And to be straight up and honest with you, this is the formula. Just use this shit straight out of the bag. I have mixed sand with this. I have done all kinds of things. The only thing I add to this, other than water, is a bonding agent, which is basically just Elmer's glue. In fact, it smells a lot like it. And an acrylic mixture. A concrete acrylic fortifier. It's the only things I mix to it. And I literally just do about a splash of this per bag. And this I'll add a lot per bag though. And all this does is make the curing process slower. The slower you can cure it, the harder it becomes. And this helps the concrete stick to itself better because it's basically just Elmer's glue. Other than that, there ain't much else to it until we get to the banging and the penetrating of the concrete. Penetrating. Penetrating. Yeah, man, once we stick it in, we gotta shove this in there. <laughs> sure in the butter, bro. Cheering the butter. My slave ass will do that. Slave ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all there is to it, man. I got no other kicks, but tricks or tips. All right, we're going to go mix this concrete up. Yeah, I already got a video on mixing concrete. So basically with this stuff, just use one gallon of water per 80 pounds for the 5,000 PSI concrete. That's the only secret. All right, well, boom. let's mix this shit. <laughs> In case anybody was wondering, that's what Nate's uh, what Nate's ass looks like. It's a pretty good shot, I guess. The fucking sick ass calves. Tell you what. Hey, I'm in the wrong sport. Yeah, you should be in uh, the calf off. Not sure if they have it, but they should. We'll start it, Nate. Just you and I. So I have tried a million different ways to skin the cat that is loading. I should say filling these molds. Everything short of using a two liter bottle or an actual funnel. And the best way I've learned how to do it is just put on some fucking gloves, get your hands dirty, and just put them in piece by piece. Trying to get as much in there as possible. You will lose a lot less just doing it this way. Trust me, I have done it, I tried. This is the best way to do it. Best way for me to do it. Let's put it that way. Now, if you look at the concrete we got all mixed up here, it's actually not that wet, but that's fine. Trust me, I've done this a few times. It actually looks like dry uh, gravel almost. And that's kind of what you want. Because what's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up hitting these tires with a hammer, a rubber mallet, and shaking it up a little bit, and then sticking that pipe down in there, mixing up one bag at a time, and you're going to see a whole bunch of water come to the top. It's just the way it works. You, you almost can't screw this up. I'll be back when I'm banging it with a hammer. I'm going to help this, help, help my man load this a little bit quicker. Yeah, he's doing a pretty good job though. All right, skipped all the boring shit. <clears throat> and she's full and I just put a little bit up on the top. Now, this stone may come out a little bit wonky on the bottom, but I'm actually going to show you how to finish a stone. I might make it a second video, but I intend to record it once we're done here. But we were doing a stone, and as it turns out, Nate's been holding out on me. And he had he had this bag he wanted. He wanted to fill with some sand and some gravel. So we've been doing that. And my man said, well, Will, how are we going to do it? And I said, I don't know. I've never done it. So what I did was I had an idea. If you grab my right hip, there's a knife. I grab my right hip. Oh, grab the knife here. I said, well, I said, I know we can use rock and gravel. And once we do that, 
we'll do a small one, a tiny one, like a 10 pound bag. And we make that one real tight. And then what we'll do is we'll fill it, we'll fill another bag with about 20 pounds of gravel and sand. And we'll make that one loose and we'll put the little bag in the big bag. And then we'll just do that a bunch of times. And so far we have three bags with 100 pounds worth of sand in here. And this is a very awkward bag now, which is what you want. You see what he's doing is he's putting some gravel in there right now. That's good. So this is gonna be our 10 pound mini bag. And then where's our sand, man? Oh, the sand's over here, man. The sands of time.